Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today's riddle is, what does a triceratops sit on? Oh, think about it. Today I'm reading Brontorina. It's by James Howe, illustrated by Randy Cecil. What do you think it's about? Bet you can tell. That's why I told a dinosaur joke. Brontorina had a dream. I want to dance. But your dinosaur, Madame Lucille pointed out. True, rep replied Brontorina, but in my heart, I'm a ballerina. She's too big and she does not have the right shoes. Madame Lucille wondered what to do. She had never had a dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large and this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Clara and Jack tugging at her. Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucille looked into the dinosaur's eyes. What is your name, my dear? Brontorina, Brontorina Apatosaurus. I even sound like a dancer, don't you agree? Madame Lucille did agree. How could she not? Welcome to Madame Lucille's Dance Academy for boys and girls, she said. Please try not to squash the other dancers. Music, Magnolia, she commanded the piano player. As Magnolia began to play, Madame Lucille turned her commands to her students. Plie, relevé, oops. Arabesque, jeté. They're all dance moves. What a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucille exclaimed. Brontorina blushed. On the outside, I'm a, I'm a dinosaur, but in my heart, you are a ballerina, cried Claire and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. In the weeks that followed, look out, help. Hey, watch your tail. The piano. It's a little big. Oh, Brontorina cried into Demzeal. I'm afraid you're too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit to my studio. And how in the world will a male dancer ever lift you over his head? I could do it, Jack shouted. No, my dear, said Madame Lucille with a sigh. You cannot. I told you she was too big. A tear fell from Brontorina's eyes. Downcast, she turned to leave. Wait, Clara called out. Don't go. My mother's been working on a surprise for you all week. Brontorina, she's bringing it out today. Whatever are you talking about, Madame Lucille asked Clara. Just then, Clara's mother appeared at the door. You must be Brontorina, she said, holding out the surprise. I hope these will fit. Well, now she has the right shoes. Brontorina beamed. They fit perfectly, she cried. I am a ballerina, or would be. If only I weren't so big. Oh, fiddlesticks, said Madame Lucille. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you are too big. The problem is my studio is too small. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio big enough to hold all of Brontorina's talent. Too small? Too small. Still too small? Still too small. I have an idea. I wonder what the idea is. Now Madame Lucille's Dance Academy had room for everyone. Madame Lucille's Outdoor Dance Academy. Girls, boys, and dinosaurs. I want to dance. And then it said, and cows. Then you must, my dear. Shoes for all sizes, the sign says over here. And it all began with a dream. Nice message, isn't it? Okay, what does a triceratops sit on? A triceratops bottom, get it? Sorry, Tara, top and triceratops bottom, silly. Okay, we have a fun experiment recommended by Tana. So we're gonna do that in just a minute. I miss you, I love you, and I'll see you soon, bye-bye. Hi, welcome back, boys and girls. You ready to make a clown in a jar? Okay, this is a different one than the one we did in the past. 
You'll need a jar filled about three quarters with water. Oops, a little too much there. Eh. Then you'll need uh, some extra water. Some, I'm gonna do some blue food dye. And shaving cream. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera down and we'll watch how to make a cloud in a jar. It's kind of like the rain cycle. It shows you what happens when a cloud gets saturated and what makes rain. Ready? Be right back. Okay, boys and girls, I have my cloud jar. This is like our atmosphere where we live. I have my rain and I put the food dye in the water. I have a dropper and I have the fun part, shaving cream. Now the shaving cream is gonna be the cloud, so I'm gonna make a cloud on top of the jar. So, okay. Now, this is what happens when it rains. You, And we always have moisture in the air and it condenses and saturates the cloud. I put it on top, do you see anything happening yet? Nope, no rain, let's put some more water. Anything yet? Nope. Let's keep going. Let's make a lot more rain. You want the water to saturate or fill up the cloud. You see it's coming on the sides, but it hasn't seeped down yet. Oh, might start raining soon. So what happens is the cloud, the cloud holds a certain amount of water, but when it gets saturated or has too much water in it, that's what saturated is, it will start to rain. And I am still saturating that cloud. It is not raining yet. Let's keep saturating. I hear, I think a storm's a brewing. Okay, see anything yet? It's getting there. Maybe we'll stick some in, in the middle. Ah, now I mixed shaving cream and the water. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna change the color of the water just to see if it makes a difference. Okay, while well, I went to make the water, I noticed it started raining. See the rain coming down? Let's put, put a little green in here. So it should be kind of a blue green. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I think we are saturating that cloud. Ooh, this is kind of fun to watch. Let me turn the camera up a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna keep doing it as I hold it up a little higher. Oops. I think you'll see green coming out soon, the greenish blue. Did you think a cloud could hold that much water? It really can. But, I, ooh, do we see any green yet? Ooh, I'm starting to see it come down. Looks like we're making a storm here. Look at it coming down. Not just on the sides either. Clouds hold a lot of water just like the shaving cream does. And when it gets saturated or too full of water, it starts to rain. Get better water. Oh, maybe my white jacket behind it. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Kind of a fun experiment. Well, that was fun. We made a cloud in a jar. Learn about saturation. I'm gonna sit here and watch this for a minute. It's kind of relaxing. Miss you, I love you. I'll see you soon, boys and girls. Bye-bye.